Morning, Morning Baker, Baker Bobcats. Bobcats. I'm Mr. Quinn. I'm Greta. And today is Friday, September 27th, 2019. All in. All in day. And this is Baker Middle School uh, Bobcat video. Let's start off with sports news. Tell us about the 7th grade game, Narita. Okay, the 7th graders lost to a tough battle, 23-8. to Addison Popley scored 2 points and Dina Surti scored 6 points. So if you're Dina in, in Dina's classroom right now, make sure to give her a high five. She's tall, she's a girl, and she has hair, long hair. Hair, she has hair. Any girls with hair, give high fives in your yeah, class. Exactly. Um, also, uh, the girls played uh, bowling and they were undefeated, so it was a tough match and they played very hard. In 8th grade news, the 8th grade game uh, team won their first game of the year. It was a defensive struggle. 13 to 12 they won. Uh, back and forth, uh, winning most of the game, and then they end up falling behind. And with 4.4 seconds left, Maddie Lorenz was fouled, and she had two free throws, down by one point, and she made both of the free throws to put Baker over the top and win the game. It was amazing. It was amazing. And also scoring for Baker was Faith Thomas, who had four points and 12 rebounds. Yes, 12 rebounds. She was all over the boards. Anna Masillo scored two. Sienna Lenz scored two. And Shreyana Kita added a free throw. So great game. Very exciting. In fact, one of the things that the eighth grade girls do at practice, just to annoy me, Coach Quinn, is they stick basketballs in their stomach, in their shirts. And uh, this bothers me a lot, and I tell them to stop doing it. So I said, if we won this game at halftime, because it was very close at halftime, that I would for the whole day, stick a basketball in my shirt, and yes, indeed, uh, I will be carrying a basketball, baby, all day today uh, because those girls won, and I'm proud to wear it. I'm very proud of the girls. So great game, girls. Um, give them a high five as well. Practice today for seventh and eighth grade right after school. All right, club news. Okay, um, homework help club uh, is for all sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. It starts on October 8th, and it's on Tuesdays in room 214 from 305 to 4. All right, so join Homework Help Club if you need any help. Um, also, today is a fire drill third hour, um, so that might be happening this hour right now, so be aware of that. And um, also a reminder from the administration that there is no food in the hallways, no food in the hallways. Keep it in the cafeteria. Um, and I think that's about it, right? Keep collecting those paw tickets, enjoy your weekend, and uh, let's send it over to Deepak. Uh, he's gonna introduce our final video of the day. Have a great weekend. Have a great day and weekend. Stop it, stop. And now we'll end with a short video called Save the Sixth Graders. Uh, I remember when I used to be a victim of being sixth grader. For sixth graders, this is our cruel world. They're on the bottom of the food chain at Baker, so we are going to save as many as possible. We will be capturing them with Minecraft, which we discovered is their favorite game, Flaming Hot Cheetos, because after years of research, we found it is their favorite food, and pot tickets, because sixth graders love pot tickets. We don't want, we don't want, we don't want, we don't want. After discussing with the team, which includes Tom, Nick, Crocodile Dundee, and the guy from River Monsters that no one knows the name of, we have decided instead of moving the six graders to another location where they might be eaten, we will be training them to become pets, which will be on the next episode of Save the Six Graders.